Today in the Boot Guy, we're talking about the Eric Conquest. 8 inch Gore Tex line, 400 grams of fit slip. When it comes to outdoor winter boots, there's a few things you really got to look for when it comes to getting you through those colder winter months. One of those things is you want a Gore-Tex line boot if you're going to be outside with no way of getting inside. You need something that's going to keep you dry. You need something that's going to keep you comfortable. And Gore-Tex is one of those aftermarket products that is added to a lot of major boots today that is gonna do just that. The other thing you want is you want insulation. Now there's lots of different types of insulation out there. Arit and the Conquest, they use Thinsulate, which in my opinion, it's been around a long time. It served a lot of guys well. You don't get too many complaints unless somebody's pretty sensitive to the cold. Thinsulate is a really good product. Now when you mix Gore-Tex and Thinsulate into a boot, the one thing you really got to be aware of is where you're going to be. Now, a lot of guys, they think the more insulation, the more grams, the better it's going to be. Well, if you were to buy a boot with too much insulation, you might end up being too warm, too sweaty, and you're going to get cold. So the Conquest is a fully welted boot, and Eric uses their ATS Pro sole mixed with this beautiful outsole pattern. Now, Mind you, the Conquest is a hunting boot, but the way Eric builds this boot, it could be one of the best work boots out there when it comes to winter conditions. And I say that just because it's an easy clean out sole. It's a freeze proof sole. It only has 400 grams of Thinsulate. Now, that might not be a lot, for most people, but in the grand scheme of things, this is a boot you can put on at 40 degrees with the right socks and the right liners. This will take you down to zero without a problem. Now it's Gore-Tex line, 100% waterproof. And what's beautiful about having a 100% waterproof boot and a boot that is built for the outdoors is that you know it's going to work because everything that comes with the Gore name is guaranteed by the Gore company. What Eric did with this lacing system on this Conquest is really nice. They use this double loop lace system built into the tongue. It's sewn right down into the first layer of the tongue. It doesn't penetrate the Gore-Tex so it's not a weak spot. But what this prevents is your tongue going left or right on long days when you're walking, when you're all geared up. The last thing you want to do is take off your boot and relace it. Eric, just by adding this extra loop, solves that problem. Now something else that Eric did that's really nice about the Conquest is this speed lace. The speed lace is an actual hook. There's beef here, there's meat here. There's something that you can actually get the lace in if you got gloves on, if you're wearing glommets, if you're wearing shooting gloves, if you're wearing work gloves. You got something here that you can actually grab this lace and kick it in there and you're gonna know it's safe and secure. And the other nice part is the way they round it inside. So when you do have gloves on and you're just sitting down to adjust your boot, if it's necessary, it's gonna slide through nicely and it locks itself down. On the inside of the boot, you're gonna find this lining. And this lining is the Gore-Tex cover. This is what's covering up your Gore-Tex membrane. Most Gore-Tex boots are gonna have something that's just like this inside. And it's really important that this material that they use on all Gore-Tex line boots is really abrasion resistant because your foot's gonna be moving around inside there. And the last thing you wanna do is cause premature wear on the lining, which is then going to prematurely wear out your Gore-Tex liner, which then negates the fact of having a waterproof boot. Eric used the ATS sole and that has their fork composite shank which runs from here to here which is really nice. You got to think all your body weight is being supported in this section of the boot and Eric by using that fork shank they really allow you to stand on a rung, to stand in a tree stand, to kick a shovel, to work outdoors with tools 
and you're going to be able to support your foot. Inside the Conquest Air, it uses the ATS Pro insole, and you'll notice that it is perforated. And the perforations are there so that there's airflow through the air channels. With a Gore-Tex line boot, your foot's going to be a little bit warmer. With an insulated boot, it's going to be much warmer. You need to move some air around inside the boot. And so Eric knows by using this urethane and by putting those perforations as you walk and step, you create a little bit of a bellowing effect inside your boot, which moves a little bit more air around, which could make for a more comfortable 12-hour to 15-hour day depending on hunting or at work. Now, since it is air, you gotta remember that they're gonna add a few Western touches to the boot. So there's a little detail done into the back pull-on and they do a really nice job with their pull-ons. They always reinforce them on their work boots and their hunting boots. So you know that you're gonna be able to depend on this part of the boot. It's not gonna fall apart. A little detailed stitching in there just to remind you it's air and they are a Western company and it's a nice touch. The overall shape of the boot is really important too because Eric uses a nice tight heel cup which means that once you lace this thing down around your ankle that there's going to be almost no movement back here. And the toes are nice and wide so they do incorporate room for socks and liners. So that's the Eric Conquest 8 inch Gore-Tex line, 400 grams of thin slate, 100% waterproof, beautiful boot. Hey, if you've ever worn anything from Eric, whether it be the Conquest or any of their other work boots or hunting boots, please comment below. Hey, if you want to see some more detailed photos of this boot, if you want to have a good look inside to see what it's like with the lining where the Gore-Tex is connected, if you want to see what that sole and that shank looks like, swing by the bootguy.com. They all have some more detailed photos of this boot and all the little nooks and crannies inside there. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. And if you've got any questions about purchasing a pair of Eric hunting boots, work boots, or anything from the brand, or just boots in general, feel free to shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.